Hey guys, welcome back to a video from Planet Kerbin and the Space Above It. So today I built a really, really realistic 7.5 rocket. Um, I actually had to empty out a lot of the fuel tanks, or actually um, reduce the amount of fuel in them, because they were really, it was too powerful. Uh, so this one has just enough fuel to land on the mud and come back. Um, unfortunately, at the end, uh, oh, there go the eulage motors. I added eulage motors, uh, which pushed the fuel back so it can fire in space. Um, so I, so it has just enough fuel to land on the mun and come back. And, yeah. It's not an RSS or anything, but I did use the Making History D DLC. Um, and I might share this on Steam or, um, Kerbal X. Link in the description if I do. Um, okay. Their second stage stopped firing, so the third stage is gonna just come off. This, it's called the S4B. Does anyone know why it's called the S4B? Or S4B? I don't know. Um, write that down in the comments below if you know. I've always wondered about that. Okay, so there we go. We're nice in a circularized orbit. So there's the Mun, which will be our destination. Alright, just me just making that maneuver node. And then we can just capture the Mun. Excuse me, right there. I have this orbit circularized around the mun. The first time I did this, my orbit was about one kilom- was like one kilometer above the- like three- four kilometers, I think, above the mun's quote- quote, sea level, unquote. Um, so, yeah. Um, alright, there's me just performing the docking maneuver. Bring those two crafts together. Alright. Uh, I'm just get the correct orientation. Maneuver. And then fire those engines up again. Yay! Then there's that little notification on the screen. Um uh, Alright, and then I'm just gonna point I think uh radial in to just be pointed in a nice direction because why not? Um Alright, just gonna undock there. Okay, the lunar module was very badly staged, and I had a few moments where I did not check my staging. So remember, when you're doing this, check yo staging. Um, it's very important. So I'm just gonna... There! There's one instance. I forgot to have the, um, the engine stage, so it started using RCS instead. Uh, which was... I mean, I had enough RCS to get back. I had enough monopropellant to get back, but... Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna land right there. There's the inside of the, of the capsule. There's a fire extinguisher. I'm not sure what use that would be because... I mean, fire extinguishers generate CO2, which is toxic at levels above 8%. So, yeah. Or, well, I guess it's kind of old technology, so it might have used, like, Freon, or... I guess it could just use water. But that would fry all the electronics. Alright, that took way too long to get out there. There's a 4K moon. And then in the description, I typed cats, 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 cats. Okay, there's my nine cat flag. My nine cat flag, which is awesome. Just gonna do some science and get back 
into the spacecraft. I forgot to bring a ladder, so that took forever. I seem to remember in earlier versions the nun having a lot less gravity. Like a single puff of the RCS would get you a lot higher. I don't know, is that just psychological or something? I don't know. The rocket, I call it Jewel 5, because Jewel is the only gas giant in Kerbal Space Program. I like that. <laughs> Okay, there's another check your stage in moment. I had to spin the rock, had to spin the module around a bit to get that off. I think it. The way I eventually got it off was it eventually stopped firing. It ran out of fuel in the bottom stage. Alright, let's just circularize and then we'll rendezvous. The real lunar module, um, the engine at the bottom could only be used once. So. Either they had to rendezvous on their first try, or um, the command module had to come and rendezvous with it. I'm not sure which one. Comment down below if you know. Um, Alright, here we go. Then we just adjust the inclination. And then. Alright. Continue to rendezvous with the spacecraft. Um, there's the nine cat flag. You can actually make your own flags by putting them in um, Kerbal Space Program Game Data Squad flags. I think. You can also just in in, in the Game Data folder. You can create your own folder inside of the Game Data folder. Uh, like mindless meme cat flags because I put a lot of meme cats in them, such as business cat and ceiling cat is watching me masturbate. Um, yeah, and nine cat of course, which is the one here. Um, does anyone know why there's that procession? It's kind of weird. I don't know. I didn't actually FSAS on, so I don't like the reason, but. It's probably like a center of mass thing. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna dock there. It's in my lovely Delta V stats window. Okay, 62 meters per second. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna dock with that. And I'm just gonna transfer the crew over. We're meant to be together. <laughs> Barely enough fuel. As I said, only about 62 meters per second with Delta V. There we go, I'm just transferring the fuel in the kerbals back into the command pod. The Mark 1 3. Now that I think about it, the Mark 1 Mark 1 3 might. It would make more sense if it was like a 3.5 meter. One. Because the Mark 1 2 will pod in KSP. Well, most of the versions until, um, until this current version. They all have the Mark 1-2 pod, which was 2 meter, and the Mark 1 pod was 1 meter, so it would make sense if the Mark 1-3 pod was, was 3 meter. But it's not! And I don't like that. So, squad, if you're listening to this- oh, here we go, um, yeah, the parachute's kinda- I re-entered wrong, so basically the Kerbals had to jump out. One got Krakenified and died. The other two, I think, they survived. Um, okay, um, so Squad, if you're listening to this, the next version of Kerbal, it might be nice if you added a, like a mark, if you added a 3.5 meter, or actually 3.25 meter, um, command pod. That would be awesome. 
Maybe it could be in the- well, it wouldn't make sense to be in the DLC, because the DLC is mainly just historic parts. Also, another part that would be nice yeah, Mark III docking port. I know there are mods for that, like a Mark III extender and a Mark II extender. I forget exactly what parts they have, but I used to have them installed. I don't think they're good for the early, good for um, 1.4. I'm not sure. Okay, here we are approaching the end of the video. Unfortunately, Kerbal crashed before I could film the rest of it. Okay, like, share, and subscribe, please, if you like. Thank you so much, OMG. That would make me so happy. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay, um, on the left is another video. In the middle, you can click the big button to subscribe. And the right is a playlist of all of my Kerbal Space Program videos. Thank you.